In this video, I am going to show you how to send your Koti from Coinbase to your Koti Viper wallet. Coinbase and Binance are probably two of the brokerages that you are most likely to pick up some of your Koti, but when you actually buy Koti on these brokerages, it is actually the ERC20 version of the token, and not Koti's own native token. To convert your ERC20 tokens to the native token, what you will need to do is send your Koti across the cross-chain bridge. Before I show you how to do this, I'm just going to briefly explain why you are going to want to do this in the near future. There are some pretty big bullish developments to be released by Koti over the next couple of weeks. Any day now we are expecting the launch of the Koti treasury and then in a couple of weeks after that we are also expecting the launch of Jed, the Cardano stablecoin. The Koti treasury will be the first opportunity for many Koti holders to actually stake their holdings. Up until now you needed a large quantity of Koti to participate in the staking program. The cool thing about the treasury is that it is going to be collecting fees from all of the different projects and business lines that Cody has and you will be able to grab your own share of them. For example, trust chain network fees will go to the treasury, fees from their merchant services, fees from people using AdaPay, fees from their stablecoin factory, fees coming from Jed, and fees coming from the crypto volatility index. Last week, they gave us a sneak peek of what the treasury is going to look like, so it looks like they are also going to be on time with it. The main point being anyway, if you want to use this treasury, you are going to need to have the Koti native token and not the ERC20 version of that token. So now let's go through a tutorial on how you can convert those ERC20 tokens and send them over to your own Viper wallet. Okay, so now I have logged into my Coinbase account and my Cody Viper wallet. I have about 7,000 Cody tokens here in my Coinbase account, the ERC20 version of the token, and I want to send them over to my Viper wallet. And as I said earlier in the video, you cannot send them directly from Coinbase to the Cody Viper wallet. What you will need to do is use the bridge, but they have this bridge actually built into the Coty Viper Pay wallet. So you will see it here in the left hand column, you'll see the bridge option. So with this bridge it works both ways, you can convert ERC20 tokens to native tokens and you can convert native tokens back to ERC20 tokens. So make sure you are selecting the right option here, so I am trying to convert ERC20 to Coty native. Then they are going to ask you for an address to send your Cody coins once they have been converted. So if you come back up to your addresses here, you will be able to find your own personal address. And I'm going to go back to the bridge now. Select the right option, copy in the right address. Then hit next. So now it is going to give me an Ethereum address to send my ERC20 version of the tokens to. So I'm just going to copy this address and send my ERC20 Koti from Coinbase to this address. So here I am back over on Coinbase. I'm just gonna copy in the address that I wanna send it to. Let's double check that I have the right one. I'm gonna send everything that I have here. So the network fee for this transaction is gonna work out to be about 65 Koti. So I'm just gonna hit send. Now it's authenticated and it should arrive hopefully in the next 10 minutes unless I made a mess of it. So now it is a few minutes later and my 7000 Cody has arrived over and it's all confirmed so I'm happy that it's in my wallet. So that is pretty much how it is done converting from the ERC20 token on Coinbase to your native token on Cody Pay. If you are sitting on some Cody in Coinbase at the moment you're probably better off to try and send it across to this wallet as soon as you can because I think that cross chain bridge might get very busy whenever they announce that the treasury is actually going to go live. So you are probably better off sending it across now when there's not much traffic going across it. So that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks very much for watching. If anybody has any questions or anything, please let me know.